to the next point, we should ensure that whatever we do is clear. That means work is being done, we can see that it is in opposite direction. Good day, my learners at home. My name is Mr. Daniel Bulus Chawe, your woodwork teacher. You are welcome to another interesting episode from the previous uh, lesson which my brother and my able colleague, Mr. Ibrahim Yunana, have taught you. Uh, the topic for today is pairing and shaving cutting tools. And uh, the subtopic we shall be focusing on planes. You all agree with me. In the previous lessons you had with my brother on woodwork hand tools, he might have introduced to you that uh, woodwork hand tools are tools that is being used in the workshop and can be manipulated using to perform one or two operations using one's energy in the body. Today, before we continue, let us take the outline we have for our today's lesson. On the board, I have my definition, the parts of a plane, the classes of plane, types and plane of plane, and finally, my assignments. Just like I have told you, the topic for today is cutting Powering and cutting tools, and the subtopic is plane. Among the tools, the work, woodwork hand tools we use in the workshop, the plane serves an important role. Before we go into the rules or the types of plane, let us try to define what a plane is. A plane is a woodwork hand tool used for producing plane or shaped smooth surfaces or edges by taking off thin shavings. That takes us to the parts of a plane. The plane consists of the following parts, namely the body, which comprises of the soul and mouth, the frog or bed, the lateral adjustment lever, the blade adjustment screw, the front and rear handles, while the cutting blade or the cut uh, cutting iron, and also the cap iron and the lever cap. With me here is a plane being uh, mounted or assembled together with the parts. I shall be dismounting it so that we can identify these parts one after another. This is the plane as I've told you. What I am holding here with me, I take first as the body, which comprises of the soul. This is the body and this is the soul. Remember I told you that the body comprises of the soul and the mouth, where the chips, where the chips are being cut and it goes out. Secondly, we have the frog. Which is the frog? This is the frog. What we have over here is the frog or the bed. What is the function of the, uh, the frog or the bed? It is on the frog or the bed that the cutting iron and the lever cap is mounted on it to form a perfect plane or a component, an important component of the plane so that the operation the purpose at which the plane can be used will be uh, performed very well. Next, we have the handle. What we have over here is the handle, and this is the handle. Remember I told you that we have the front handle, which is what we have over here, and the rear handle. So during the usage of the plane, the left hand is always being used to grip the front handle, while the right hand is used to grip the rear handle before the operation is being performed. Still, on 
the frog. We have the adjustable wheel, the depth adjustable, adjustable wheel. This is what we have over here. This is the just, uh, depth adjustable wheel. What do we use the depth, uh, the, uh, depth adjustable wheel? The depth adjustable wheel is behind the frog. And the usage of it is to gauge the depth at which your cutting iron or your cutting blade will do. It's for adjusting the depth of shaving, uh, shavings to be performed when the plane is being used. Being used. Next is the lateral adjustment lever. The lateral adjustment lever. This, the lateral adjustment lever, the function of the lateral adjustment lever on the blade, uh, on the plane, is to gauge the evenness of the cutting iron whenever operation is being performed. Remember, what I want you to understand here is this, my student. If the lateral adjustment lever is being tilted to the what, to the right, the cutting iron or the blade projects more at the right hand side, while by the left hand side it goes off in. And if the lateral adjustment level uh, lever is tilted to the left, the same thing ha ha occurs. That is, the blade will project more at the left hand side and less at the uh, right hand side. So for even shaving and even cutting, the lateral adjustment lever is being set to be at the center. It will also interest us to know that no matter how, even if it is a layman that doesn't know uh, maybe the nitty gritty of woodworking, by the rear handle, there is a mark on the rear handle. That mark signifies that the lateral adjustment lever should be kept at the center of that line. That is to say, if you want an even uh, level of your cutting iron and perfect usage of your cutting iron, that the lateral adjustment lever must be centralized according to the line on the rear handle. Next, we have is the cutting iron. We have the cutting iron or the cutting blade attached to another part, that is to the cap iron. The two of them are not of the same size. The one taller with what we have over here is the cutting iron. The longer one is the cutting iron. And the two, the cutting iron and the cap iron, are fitted by a screw, tightened together, so that the cap iron there prevents, the cap iron there prevents the cutting iron from wobbling, from shaking, from dribbling whenever operation is being performed. Remember, that is, it tightens and makes sure that the cutting iron remains firm when the operation is to be performed. Both the cutting iron and the cap iron are all made of rough iron. While the sole of the plate, uh, of the plane is made of cast iron, the bed is also made of rough iron. While the handle of uh, our plane can be made of wood. Next is the lever cap is the lever cap. The lever cap, this is the lever cap. From the picture we can see, this is the lever cap. What is the function of the lever cap? The lever cap is used to lock in your cap iron and your cutting iron, your cutting blade together, getting ready for an operation. Let me demonstrate how uh, our plane can be mounted with the bed with the frog tightened tightly 
through the use of a screw and our cotton iron placed this way, lever cap is brought in, fitted, fitted, and that completes our what? Plane. It will interest us to know that the plane we have in our workshops can be made of what? Wood. This is an example of uh, a jack plane, the wooden jack plane, and also can be made of metal. Now, let's go to the types, the classes of plane. Planes may be divided into the following classes. Bench plane and special purpose plane. Let's take these planes one after another. Because of time, this class may not permit us an ample time for us to go into these two classes, the, the bench plane and the multi-special purpose plane. But for the time being, let's take the bench plane one after another. Bench planes are planes used for producing flat surfaces and edges on wood. They are made of wood, they are made of wood, wooden or metallic stock. The common uh, types of bench planes are, let's take them one after another, common types of bench plane, one, the triangle plane. The triangle plane is also known as the jointer. This plane is mostly used after the jack plane to produce true or flat surface and perfectly straight edges. The triangle plane varies in length, ranges between 457 millimeter and 609 millimeters. The triangle plane is made same as the jack plane. So, though we don't know what the jack plane is, the triangle plane, like the plane I have showed you, is also made of metal with wooden handles. All members of the jack plane of the triangle plane are the same, just like the parts of the plane I listed. With me here is the triangle plane. It will interest you to know that the triangle plane is the longest of all. This is from the sole. We take the length, or we measure the length of the sole. We determine the length of the sole or of the plane from measuring the sole, which is what I've just told you. And all member parts are the same, like the plane I have showed you. On the board, this is an example of the triangle plane. Remember, we are told it is used after the jack plane to perfect all work. The second type of plane is the jack plane. The body and sole of the jack plane are made in one piece of cast iron and the handles of hardwood. The length of the jack plane varies and it ranges between 355 millimeter and 406 millimeter. The function or the use of the jack plane is to smoothen or to remove saw mark from rough timber or to redress the surface and edges when planing to required sizes. That is, the jack plane does the final planing of the wood surface when it is being used. Next, on the board, that is the drawing or the picture of the jack plane. Number three, the smoothing plane. The smoothing plane is shorter in length, unlike the jack plane. The stock of the jack plane is made of wood or metal with length ranging from 200 millimeter to 260 millimeter with its cutting iron also having a, uh, a width of 36 millimeter to 60 millimeter wide and a handle made of wood. Unlike the metal smoothing plane, the wooden smoothing plane has no handle. The smoothing plane is used for cleaning surfaces and edges of members ready for assembly, flushing off of assembled joints and also for cleaning up the job before scraping or sandpapering.
for final finishing. On the board, my students, you can see this is the picture of the plane. Next. Next is the block plane. The block plane consists of a stock, which is 150 millimeter long, and the cutting iron is 35 millimeter wide. And the cutting iron is set at an angle of 20 degrees to the sole, as against 45 degrees in other plane. Why is it so? Because of this low angle, the cutting iron is placed on a stock with the bevel up. Although the block iron, the block plane, do not have a cap iron, just, just like the other plane, but it is designed to cut grain, to cut end grain of wood, and to touch up finished work. Remember I said, this block plane is used before final finishing is being done, that is before the surface of the wood is sandpapered. Next, this is a picture of the uh, block plane. My learners at home, we have almost come to the end of our class for today. But before we round up and before the assignment, let us make a brief summary of our today's class. We are told that the plane is a woodwork hand tool that is used to produce plane or shaped smooth surfaces by taking off, by taking, or surfaces of edges by taking off thin shavings. We are also able to know the classifications of uh, our plane, which is a hand tool. And this classification of the bench plane, uh, the planes are the bench plane and the special purpose plane. And we were able to take this plane, one, uh, the classes, one after another with the bench plane. And in the bench plane, we were told, we are told that the bench plane can be made of wood or metal. In the course of our discussion, we're able to tell you the parts of the plane and their uses. The bench plane, we took the parts of this bench plane one after another, and we were told that the bench plane consists of the sole, the frog, lateral adjustment lever, the depth adjustment wheel, the cap iron, uh, the cutting iron, and the lever cap. Each of these, we know their functions. We went into the extent of also learning uh, the bench plane and the types of the bench plane we always use in the workshop. These bench planes, we are told, we have the bench plane like one, the trying plane, which is uh, the longest. We were able to learn how uh, the bench plane looks like uh, from what we have on the picture. Good. And also, the length of the bench plane, just like other planes. We were also able to learn the next type of plane, which is the jack plane. And we are told the length of the jack plane uh, comes second with the length of the triangle plane. And the length of the jack plane ranges from 355 millimeter to 406 millimeter. We're also able to learn the usage of it. On the board, we are told this is the jack plane. Next is the smoothing plane. The smoothing plane, we are also told, looks like the jack plane. And the length, the range of the jack plane uh, is from 200 millimeter to 260 millimeter with its cutting iron that is 36 to 60 millimeter wide. Next on the plane, we have the block plane. And the block plane, we are told, just like other plane, 
the cutting iron of the jack plane of the uh, block plane is always fitted at 20 degrees unlike other plane that their cutting iron is at 45 degrees and we are told that the block plane just like other planes that have cap iron the block plane do not have cap iron and it is designed to cut end grain so my students this is a little from the whole class for our lessons today but before we round up let us take i have an assignment for you question number one on my assignment is 1a name three major bench planes you know 1b state the uses of each bench plane we have learned question number two state the uses of the following components of a bench plane one the knob or handle two the cap lever or the cap iron uh, the cap lever next is the cap iron then uh, fourth is the adjustable screw and finally the blade i take my assignments one after another again question one name three major bench planes you know and b state the uses of each two state two a state the uses of the following components of a bench plane we have the knob or handle the cap lever uh, the cap iron adjustable screw and the blade my learners at home we have come to the end of our lessons for today if you have any inquiry any question on the lessons we have learned today please feel free to call me on the number 080 3247 6725 i take the number again 080-3247-6725. I remain yours, Mr. Daniel Bulushawe. Stay home, stay safe, keep learning. God bless you all.